Taking on wheels and I'm Girish and today I have the all new Mahindra XUV 700 and this is the top of the line petrol version which is a 2 litre engine without wasting any time let's meet right after this intro video to talk more about this amazing luxurious 2 litre petrol XUV 700 <laughs> And welcome back to my channel guys This is the key which powers that beautiful machine Which is the Mahindra XUV 700 So just to start with let's give you a basic information about this uh, car So they come in two different uh, fueling that is petrol and diesel Petrol comes at 2 litre and the diesel is 2.2 litre engine. Petrol is powered with 200 PS and the diesel is powered with 185 PS. So that's about the power. And then on the diesel, you have uh, all wheel drive as well. And in uh, petrol, which is this one, which is the top end, you get uh, two models in terms of transmission 80, that is automatic transmission with six speed gear box and also you get the manual transmission which is again six speed gearbox again the similar with diesel you have the uh, automatic transmission as well as the manual transmission which is again six speed gearbox and also in uh, the diesel you get all wheel drive only in the top end itself so let's talk about the design aspect of this car so if you see this gets exactly the same design as its preceders which is from the xuv 500 so the main idea or the main theme behind this was the cheetah which uh, was the main design flow of this particular car and that flows here as well and this time around the major difference that you'll see is this logo bit so this has completely changed and that's the new logo of mahindra and that will be followed for their all the cars going forward and also when you look at the front grille it has a very good flow and if you see all the front grills flow towards their headlight so that's very very good so let's look from the side angle also and if you look at the second part of the car which is on the second part let's show you from this angle so the second half of the car that becomes a little more musculine and that's again the cheetah bit so you see the cheetah muscle when they run the rear uh, uh, angle of the cheetah so that's the muscular part of it so that's where the design flow and the top end gets the 18 inch alloy wheels um, and the base variant and the mid variant gets the 17 inch uh, wheels so let's have a 360 degree view and now talking about the rear side as well so this gets a very nice looking uh, rear Now one of the best part of this design also is if you look there are no handles anywhere all the handles are hidden so only when you unlock the car so which I will do now the handles will come out so let's unlock and you see that the handles have come out and similarly when you lock it they go inside so let's talk about a couple of other features about this uh, car from exterior so it gets a camera here so this one has 360 degree camera so it has a camera in the front it has camera here and then you have the camera on the back as well which is here and then similarly you have the camera on the other side so basically this gets a 360 degree camera as well and then a lot of additional technological features which have gone into this car which we'll talk when we get inside the car so this is the design bit of it so when you talk about the lights this gets led lights 
both the ones are LED lights and also gets the DRLs, the LED DRLs. So they're all powered with LED, LED lights. So now let's get inside the car and tell you more about this car. Now as you enter the car, you see the magic happening. So you see this seat going back. So every time you open the car, the seat will automatically go back so that you can come and sit inside the car and let's sit and see what happens next when once you close the door. Look at that. So the seat automatically adjusts itself to the driver's uh, position. So you have three memory spaces here so you can save three different modes of seat and uh, you can set if you have three different uh, drivers so you can set them one two and three and that's how you set the memory and then if you see this is the first in its class you use this to move the seat see the seat moving front and back and you move this up and down to reduce or increase the height of the seat so this is again first in its class no other car has such luxury and when you look at the entire uh, interior of this car all the places where you see this black surface are hard plastic hard surfaces and wherever you see these cream surfaces these are soft surface so that's the soft surface and this also gets two screen 10.25 inches two uh, touch screens and also powered with adrenox so that supports up to 60 built-in apps to handle the entire car so let's start this machine now So you have two different displays here one is the console for uh, the driver bit so you have a lot of information going on there and then you have another display which is for a lot of other stuff so you can you have apple uh, carplay you have android auto and then you have fun with xuv and fun in xuv so there are, these are two different things so let's run through that one by one so first coming on to the steering bit so if you look at the steering you have the volume up and down button so that is to operate your stereo system you can pick a call you can disconnect a call you can mute the call and if you go on to the right hand side you have the cruise button so you can put the car into cruise mode you have the navigation button you have the toggles here to control the entire uh, uh, bit here and then you can resume so let me just show you that now so you can change all of this and when you look at your left hand side you have the wiper assistance indicator and all of it to your uh, left hand side and to your right hand side you have uh, the high beam low beam assist and also to your extreme right you have these two buttons which is uphill hold and downhill assist so you can use this when you are doing uphill or downhill and then if like I mentioned look at here you have all the DRL's light a switch on buttons here and uh, when you look at this side you have the indicators and also when you come into the main console area you have a dual AC option so the AC can be controlled two differently for the pillion and for the driver so these are all the AC control buttons that you can see you have a hazard light here you have the camera buttons here seat belt option and all of that shown here you come to this uh, area which is the uh, main driving uh, assist or the automatic transmission so you have the p mode reverse neutral and then the drive mode up and down this is uh, the brake and then this is uh, auto hold so this basically comes into use when you drive we'll show that later and then you have if you are a conventional guy do not want to use the touch screen you can do all the controls from here you have the music option home option call receive option navigation option this works as the volume button and also the toggle to move around and then you have the cup holders here you have some space here to keep your coins keys and all those those stuff there and this also moves front and uh, you can use this while you're driving this moves front and back so this is basically the space that you enjoy while driving and this comes with uh, uh, eight speakers which is powered by sony and uh, also let's show you the 
panoramic sunroof that this comes with so let's open that look at that amazing wide panoramic sunroof and uh, wow this is so good and all of this can be done uh, through Alexa as well so this Ooh. has Alexa so when I say Alexa it speaks so let's show you Alexa close the sunroof okay check that out and uh, yeah the minute you take that name it starts taking uh, assistance uh, and then uh, look at that Alexa can you play some music Here's a station you might like, Top Bollywood, on Amazon Music. And there you go. And, and, and there are a lot of controls that you can do when you are listening to music. You can go to 3D sound. You can set the kind of music experience you want to have. You have immersive 3D. You have stage setup. You have party stage uh, setup. You have a breezy setup, which is for very light music. And then you have the 3D off. So this is the kind of settings that you have. And then you can change the preference of music. Now I have putting back it to center setting. And this is large setup, mid range and small setup. So that's about the music system. And then when you go to this, which is the Adrenox, the app which comes um, built in in the car. And uh, you have this place here, uh, document. So you can save all the documents on your phone that will be reflected here as well. So that could be your driving license, insurance, anything related to car can be saved here and you will get all the information there. Similarly, if you are hungry, you want to find a food around so you can book Zomato from here itself. You, you want to get some new numbers from wherever it is, you can get from Just Dial. If you want to go through some a news bit, you can get some news. So this is a power pack, a complete information uh, console that you have infotainment system that this particular car provides you and uh, this is very very good and even when you look at the seat it gets very nice perforated uh, seat covers good seat very comfortable another feature this car comes up with is the ADAS feature which is advanced driver assistance system basically when you are driving you get a lot of other features which will be mentioned when I drive this car and tell you more about those features but then um, as of now that is another feature which this particular car comes up with let's talk about the safety of this car so this is equipped with seven airbags the top end gets seven airbags and uh, the base variant has two airbags so basically this has all the safety that one would want in a luxury car so that's the kind of safety which goes into this car one more thing for all the tech junkies there's so many technology involved here so one more thing is look at the phone here you have wireless charging as well so you see you keep the phone here and it has wireless charging as well so that's another tech advantage which is there in this car now let's go on the rear seat and show you how comfortable the rear seats are or not and now i'm at the rear seat i am five seven which is an average indian height and look at the kind of space that you get between your leg uh, and the front seat so it is very very comfortable so anybody up till uh, 5 10 or even 6 feet should not have any problem it has got a good under thigh support as well and you get a 60 40 split seat here so this seat can be folded and uh, used for other purposes which will be shown later and uh, five adults can comfortably sit here and then you have two seats on the complete end and you have two seats on complete back so not really advisable for adults two kids can comfortably sit right now we've got a lot of gadgets up there but then otherwise two kids can comfortably sit another feature here is also that you have ac vents 
for across all the three sitting rows so you have the front ac for people sitting there you have the ac here for the people sitting in the second row and when you go on the back you have ac for the last row as well again you get the usb charger c type usb charger here some space to storage here similarly you have the wireless chargers there you can also get the usb charger in the front and then you have the c charger and the usb charger in the front as well also you get these lights which can be used uh, for reading or somebody who's sitting in the back wants to read a book or something you get these lights as well and let me show you the panoramic roof that this provides which is a nice big panoramic roof and not just a sunroof so it has a proper good panoramic roof and kids will love this when they are sitting here and you know also when you do want to use open this one you can just shut this one and keep the roof still open without putting the blinds which is another good part so now let's go on the back and show you the boot So now let's talk about this boot space. So if you're looking at the five-seater uh, XUV, you get about 1,025 liters of boot space, and in the seven-seater, uh, in the third row, you get about 900 uh, liters of boot space. And again, in the seven-seater, if you have the complete boot space, so you have about 220 liter of boot space, which is just about this. Currently, we've got a lot of stuff here, all our gaze and uh, cameras and all of it. So. Uh, that has been consumed by that and also when you talk about the ground clearance so let's talk about the ground clearance of this car so it has a 200 you get about 200 mm of ground clearance and this comes with 18 inch wheels that is on the top end and also comes with alloy wheels So back in highway now, let's drive this car and tell you how this car performs and drives. So I'm driving the petrol 2 litre engine which is powered with 200 uh, PS of horsepower and uh, also around 350 Newton meter of torque. So the very first thing that you'll observe when you drive this is the steering is very very light unlike any other bigger cars when you see which are 2 litres or whatever. You feel all that uh, mass coming onto your driving wheel but in this case the driving wheel is very very light you feel very easy nimble it's very agile at, at the same time and you don't feel that you are driving a bigger machine you know for that matter it's a two liter powerful uh, petrol engine but then you don't feel that at all and the second thing is the there is no sound at all that normally you hear in a bigger car or a, you know the kind of sound that you get there's absolutely no sound at all it's very quiet engine feels very good and then there are certain security features uh, in this car which I will tell you as we go forward now so now let's talk about the acceleration look at this acceleration in no time we've already reached 100 so and the braking also is very precise very sharp um, so if you are looking at uh, diesel as an option so you have three other um, driving modes which is called zip zap zoom uh, but in petrol there's no such uh, modes at all but then you'll definitely not miss any of those modes because the power is so good the power delivery is so awesome and uh, it you know you feel it the minute you start pedaling it or you know you start flooring it look at the power delivery that happens look at this. and in no time you've already reached 100 and it just continues to deliver the kind of power that you want and there are certain uh, security features like once you are in a particular lane and if you're planning to switch the lane or if you're moving around it gives you a warning you hear the sound on the background that's the warning that you get 
and uh, if you need to change the lane you basically what you need to do is if you are changing the lane you need to give an indicator then change the lane uh, it's okay otherwise if you just try to maneuver the steering here and there it will keep giving you a warning and that warning comes down to your steering as well the steering gets a little stiffer giving you the warning that you are moving the lane uh, that is either without giving an indicator or just like that so if i'm trying to move here a little bit you see there's a warning and then it kind of straightens the steering so that's it, it, it's a plus point at the same time if you're not used to using indicators and take overtaking or switching lane it might get a little onto your nerve so that's something that you'll have to look at just try to get you a clear path now and the acceleration is very very good nothing like nothing like that i've ridden from uh, mahindra before and the cornering look at the stability the car basically sticks on basically completely plants itself on the corners and you can confidently take the curve without any problem look at this another curve again it just completely plants itself and you do not feel that you are driving a tall boy at any given point of time and look let's look at this yeah the suspensions are also very good very very effective there's a good rebound to it absorbs all the jerkiness or shock which comes through it and that is not translated onto your seat it's completely absorbed which is another good uh, feature and if you kind of try to sum this up the overall handling of this car is so good and also the driving dynamics changes as you progress so when i say as you progress is when you are on a higher uh, uh, speedometer or higher range the steering gets slightly stiffer so that helps you to drive better and have a better control over the car so the biggest point is when you are at a higher speed once you cross that 100 mark the steering gets slightly stiffer which is very very needed and as you come back to normal speed or or a city limit speed again the steering gets lighter and you know you feel you enjoy driving it in the city and at no stage or at no point you feel you're driving a bigger suv kind of a car because the stability of the car is so good and like the, i mentioned the cornering of this car look at this the cornering of this car is so good that you feel you are driving just another regular saloon car and not an suv and also to complement that is its braking which is very superior got a very good bite to it and as a standard feature all four wheels get disc brakes and also there is another technology which goes in that is during uh, rainy season uh, where you have a lot of dust particles the disc gets cleaned automatically on its own so that's another plus point to it so that you get a proper bite to your uh, braking when you brake look at this how swiftly you can turn and overtake and the power delivery is immediately delivered to you and you are exactly sure of how and when to accelerate because normally in automatic what happens is there could be split second uh, delay in power which comes through but then this one the particular one which is the 6 speed automatic transmission petrol engine is performing brilliant look at the corner again look at it how it plants itself on the corner and i like i mentioned immediately driving dynamics is changed the uh, complete steering is got a little stiffer the braking gets more um, uh, powerful it starts working differently when you're on a lower speed the braking is a little softer that is what you want in the city but then the minute you are on the higher uh, speed the braking becomes harder or you know the bite comes really well and the power delivery is so good
and I also have people sitting with me in this car so this is completely fully packed car currently so there are uh, three people sitting right behind people who have helped me throughout this uh, video shoot and the person who is also shooting is my friend Kishan so we've got uh, Aryan, Sanjay and uh, Anand sitting in the back so what what's your experience when you are in the back how, how does it feel uh, so any any comments on how does the suspension feel no it's quite good you are enjoying it yeah, yeah. any kind of bump coming in through no no, no. so you've heard it how does it feel um, sitting at the back also it's very very comfortable and uh, what about pillion how, how, how are you feeling kishan when you're sitting as a pillion and you know at high speeds at uh, various uh, road conditions how is it? It's absolutely buttery smooth. I had the power cornering as Girish said. Uh, it's phenomenal. This car is a game changer according to me. I this think at a, at, a, at a 2 liter, like he rightly mentioned, it can be a game changer and no wonder there's so much of booking and there is so much of waiting period. So you'll see a corner again going forward. So let's take it on good speed. So we've already on 120 and see how it plants itself. Unless I have some idiots on the road coming to disturb it but otherwise look at that it, it absolutely plants and just continues to stay on the same line and uh, unfortunately we're back in city due to which our uh, driving have to be changed again we'll have to go normal speed and not try to make any high speeds but then yes overall i must say it is a game changer and um, definitely somebody who's looking at a luxury car with so many features i mean there's Loads of feature filled in this car. One of the biggest feature is the Adrenox, which is uh, up till 60 built-in uh, softwares, which has been given, and you can control the entire car. You can remotely see what's happening with your car, at what speed it is going, what where your car is there. You can turn on your. It's loaded with features, and you see the uh, seat memory. So you have different seat memories as well. When you open the door, the seat goes back, you get enough space to enter the car. When you sit, it automatically adjusts to your sitting memory. I mean, all together. And one of the biggest uh, plus points are also the 360 degree camera, which goes into this. So you have a complete 360 degree camera. Um, not only while uh, you take a reverse or something, when you take a turning or when you have something close by you can see everything on this console for example let's show you that so if you want to do a right turn indication you see there is an camera which turns on to your right if you're doing similarly or to your left hand side the left camera can be seen and you exactly know what's in and around your car and you can keep good distance and Similarly, you have a camera in the front bumper, you have a camera on the rear as well. So basically, you have a complete 360 degree camera controlling, uh, not controlling, uh, basically monitoring everything that is happening. So I think it's a good value for money um, and the kind of confidence that you can get through Mahindra is phenomenal. You've seen that through Thar. Even today, Thar has about 8 to 10 months waiting period. Similarly, I think with this also the story is going to be the similar thing. And uh, if you guys, any on, uh, one of you watching this video own one of these cars, share what do you think, what, what's what been your exp experience of owning a car um, uh, from Mahindra and their uh, you know, uh, service or whatever. Please share your thoughts. I'll be more than happy to go through that and you know kind of respond to you guys. Having that said, let's go back to the venue and uh, we'll, we'll close this at this point of time. That's all from my end for this video guys. Please stay at home, stay safe, vaccinate yourself if you haven't vaccinated. And I'll see you guys very soon in another video. And uh, I must say thanks to Karnataka agencies and if you wish to book a car, I'm going to put all the information in the description, phone numbers and everything. You can get in touch with Sachin as well, Sachin Attavar from uh, Karnataka Agency and he'll be more than happy to assist you by any of their uh, car from the entire fleet that Mahindra has to offer. And feel free to go there, take a test drive, book it and uh, yes, bye-bye.